Well, Penguin Queen, good on ya. That's Phoebe. Yeah, that's the Phoebes. Here's one more. Last one, quick. Who is this? I'll just tell you. It's Rachel, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's time for the game. <laughs> All right, let's get pumped and amped and jammed up and ready for the game. All right, baby, baby. Ain't nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. What is Rachel wearing in her first on-screen appearance? White tuxedo, beer can helmet, or wedding gown? All right, I'll tell you this. Rachel could have married Barry, but as we saw in, you know, later seasons, her life would have been way sadder. Luckily, she ran from the altar in her wedding gown. 275,112. Got it right. 112. I see you. Looking at me, I could tell by your eyes that you're feeling me. All right, before we move on, if you want to multiply your points even more during this game, you can purchase a points multiplier. Get one right now if you see it on your screen. The season finale is tomorrow, babies. So level up as much as possible right now, okay? Okay, it's time for question two. Make it do what it do. Here we go. Whose first spoken line on Friends was, oh my God, Phoebe, Janice, or Joey? Who's it going to be? All right. You can hear Janice just by looking at her. And let's be honest, even with the voice, she was too good for Chandler. Yeah, that's right. Oh. My. God. Janice, babies. Janice is the answer I was looking for. 204,857 got Janice. Oh. My. God. It's time for question three. What's it going to be? Here we go. All right. Ross has to take muscle relaxers after he injures himself. How? Kite surfing, sneezing, or falling into a grave? Hmm. Well, Nana's funeral was such a great day. Weather was. Okay? And even though Rachel has some issues with her shoes, it's Ross who takes a bad step right into an open grave. Oh! Whoa, there's a savage question right there. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage. I fell into Nana's grave, y'all. 88,416 got it right, because you was watching Friends season one. Come on now. A lot of extra lives getting dropped right there. Question four, let's go. When Chandler and a supermodel are stuck in a vestibule, what does he say when she offers him gum? Thanks, I love chewing. Gum, gum good, or gum would be perfection. Hmm, poor Chandler. You know, even when things go right, they go wrong. He's just trying not to be creepy, so of course he comes across as super creepy. Gum! You know, on second thought, gum would be perfection. <laughs> gum would be perfection, y'all. That's the answer I was looking for, 160,462. Knew what to do, oh shoot, look at you. At question four, it's time to stay alive. At question five. Ah, 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 question five, question five. Ah, 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 ah. question five. Ah, yeah, for the children. Here we go, question five. Which of these characters was recast after their first episode? Gunther, Carol, or Judy Geller? Lock it on in. Yeah. All right, she left Ross for Susan, and uh, then she left the show. Carol was originally played by Anita Barone, but was then replaced by Jane, villain from It Takes Two, Sibbet. 181,723 in the place to be. Got Carol, that's the answer I was looking for. Here we go, question number six. Phoebe Buffay is related to a character from what other NBC show? Cheers, Seinfeld, or Mad About You? Time is ticking. 
what are you picking? I like that. That's a new one. I just made that up on the spot. The time is ticking. What are you picking? Ooh, that's a t-shirt right there. That's going to be in the HQ store pretty soon. All right. Before Friends was a thing, Mad About You was popping, all right? And making a star out of Helen Hunt. 200,052 knew what to do all year. It's time for question number seven, babies. Let's get it going. All right. Here we go. Question seven. When Joey experiments with stage names, which of these does he audition under? Huge ass, Holden the groin, or Jockstrap? What was it gonna be? Turns out uh, there already is a Joseph Stalin, so that doesn't, that doesn't work. And even Joey doesn't think Flame Boy is ideal. So he goes for the next best option, Holden McGroin. Are reading for the role of Mercutio? Name? Holden McGroin. <laughs> <laughs> Holden McGroin. 133,208 got it right. High five. Oh, yeah. Let's move it right along to question number eight. I hope you're feeling great. Because I am. There he is! Sometimes he doesn't pop up, but then every now and then the mug with the air oh, that tickles me so much. Here we go, question eight. In the fourth episode, Rachel's old friends do not tell her about which of these. Engagement, new job, or duplex townhouse. What's it going to be? All right, babies. Rachel is finding her way. She's waitressing at uh, Central Park, then learning to live without dad's credit cards when she runs into her overachieving friends. Yeah, one is big as a duplex, but did not recently purchase a duplex. Duplex townhouse is the answer I was looking for. 75,594. That's another savage question. Oh boy, here we go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. All right. Question number nine. Feeling so fine. The actress who plays what character was originally offered the role of Rachel? Monica, Phoebe, or neither? Who's going to be? Who is it? Who is it going to? <laughs> I don't know. I started sounding Nigerian all of a sudden. Okay. Jen Aniston wasn't a big, as big a star at the time of casting, but she'd been around the NBC block. You know, she had a couple pilots. Finally, she got the role of Rachel after Courtney Cox turned it down. Monica, y'all, 105,105, 105, 105, staying alive. Ah, 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 105. Here we go. It's time for question 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Let's go to work. What does Phoebe give Marcel before saying goodbye? Spell, poem, or tarot reading? Well, oh, Phoebe is kooky, right? Everybody knows this. So, when she's saying goodbye to that little devil Marcel, she packs him a poem. Poem is the answer I was looking for. 59,467 got poem. You did that! Oh boy! Y'all ready? For question 11, all dogs go to heaven. Make sure you come back and play dog trivia on Wednesday. That's gonna be a hoot. Okay, here we go. Question number 11. Which friend does Rachel first have a racy dream about? Joey, Chandler, or Ross? Mm. She eventually dreams about all of them. But at first, you know, at first, Ross gets really jealous that the first dream is about Joey. 44,222 got Joey. So that means y'all gonna move on to question number 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Oh boy. Here we go. Which of these is not uh, the one with the title of a first season episode? All the poker, butt, or trifle? All right, the one with the butt and the one with all the poker are classic, right? Uh, the trifle doesn't occur until season six. Trifle's the answer I was looking for, 31,718. They're digging the scene with a gangster lean on their way to question 13, jelly beans. Yeah, that's right. Here we go, question 13. 
What is the first thing Monica serves to impress the chef, played by John Lovitz? Onion tartlet, ravioli, or mac and cheese? All right, in episode 15, Monica gets the chance to impress a potential new boss with her cooking skills, right? But then he smokes a doobie yeah. before getting there and her ravioli is totally wasted on him. Ravioli was the answer. Oh, ooh, savage. I want to take a moment to, uh, I, it was pretty savage. Savage questions all. Sorry you got it wrong, savage. Question song. That's from the heart, yeah. 4,918 are moving on to question 14. <laughs> Here we go. Which sitcom's lead actress plays a character giving birth at the same time as Carol? Veronica's Closet, King of Queens, or Just Shoot Me? Who's it gonna be? Look, if you had a sitcom in the 90s, chances are. Leah Remini guest starred on it, okay? But she also had her own sitcom with Kevin James, The King of Queens, 14,230. I'm moving on to the final question of the night. Ah! Question 15, you know what I mean? Question 15, just a question on the screen. Here we go. Question 15 for all the marbles, $10,000. Whoa! What is one of the gifts Rachel receives the night she learns Ross is in love with her? Board game, bib, or stuffed lobster? Hmm. All right, Ross may have gotten Rachel the, uh, the antique pin that she saw months ago, right? But Chandler gets her a travel scrabble and spills the bean about Ross's love. What's a better gift than that? If you got board game, oh, 7,721 of y'all, just won a new trivia! That's crazy. Everybody got a dollar thirty. Cliff Kent, what up? Abba, 1961. Bobby, what's up, Bobby? Aaron Gar, look at that kitty cat. Charles Hope. <laughs> Monet, him, zero, 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 zero. Ashley Marie, what's up, girl? All right now, all of y'all just did that. 7,721 of you just won HQ Trivia. I've been your host, Matt Was Funny. Make sure you holler at your boy, all right? Hit me up on social media, at Matt Was Funny. Let's be friends. This was so much fun. Don't go too far, because Words is up next at 9.30 p.m. with Friends Season 1-themed puzzles. Join me back here tomorrow at 9 p.m. for the Season 3 finale. Good night! I gotta go watch Game of Thrones!